Let's talk about low carb swaps you can make in your diet and why you might wanna make them if your goals are balancing your blood sugar, reversing insulin resistance and weight loss. Because I know it can feel so overwhelming getting started on a low carb diet and feeling like you have to give up so many of your favorite foods. But I promise you, it's not as bad as you might originally think. And once you start to feel the benefits with your energy, your mood, once you start to see those numbers dropping on the scale, it's all gonna be worth it. So in today's video, we are gonna be talking about nine easy low carb swaps you can make for better blood sugar balance. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. I'm a certified health and nutrition coach. I post new videos twice a week here on YouTube talking all things insulin resistance, weight loss, sleep, and more. So if you're ready to take control of your metabolic health, make sure to click that subscribe button. And you can also find me on TikTok and Instagram where I show new posts every single day. Now, the reason the low carb diets are so effective is because when you restrict carbohydrates in your diet, it changes the way your body uses energy. Instead of focusing on carbs for energy, which are a quick energy source, but our bodies cannot store much of them, your body turns to burning fat instead, which even someone who's very lean has an ample supply of. This metabolic state where you are burning mainly fat for energy is known as ketosis. And yes, low carb diets are beneficial for weight loss, but they're also beneficial for other reasons as well, including increased mental focus, decreased inflammation, regulating blood sugar, and increasing insulin sensitivity. Benefits that can help a lot of people out. But anyways, let's get into the nine swaps. Number one is capsicums for tacos. Cutting off the top of your capsicum and filling it with your usual taco fillings, so that could be beef mince, guac, sour cream, cheese. Not only does this cut down on the carbs, but it's also delicious. When I do this, I usually lightly cook the beef before filling the capsicums and popping them in the oven. I take them out a few minutes before they're finished, add the cheese, put them back in, and then once they're done, I add the other toppings. Number eight is walnuts for croutons. I know a lot of people like to have a bit of a crunch to their salad. Believe me, I have been known to love croutons. But swapping them for walnuts or other nuts can not only reduce the carbs in the meal, but also increase the fat, which of course you want to be eating more of on a low carb diet. Number seven, plain yogurt with berries for flavored yogurt. This swap is super easy. If you are a yogurt lover and you tend to choose flavored options, try choosing a plain one instead and add low carb fruit such as berries yourself. Flavored yogurts have so much added sugar. It's actually a bit insane. And of course, having high sugar foods like this is a blood sugar nightmare. You can still get the same taste by adding fruit yourself. Bonus points if you choose a plain Greek yogurt, which is higher in protein. Number six, spaghetti squash for pasta. Now I know the thought of giving up pasta can be heartbreaking, but I encourage you to give spaghetti squash a try. I honestly prefer to wheat pasta at this point especially when I'm making a tomato-based dish such as bolognese. 10 out of 10, I cannot recommend this swap enough. Number five, cauliflower rice for white rice. Okay, I know some people are cauliflower rice haters, but I honestly think it's a great alternative. White rice is a filler food anyways. It doesn't have much flavor and it doesn't add much to a meal besides bulk. So by swapping it out for cauliflower rice, which has a similar texture when prepared correctly, you can save a bunch of carbs and your blood sugar will thank you. Now, before we get into the final four swaps, I want to make a quick note about electrolytes. When you reduce carbohydrates in your diet, you retain less water. And with this water loss, you also lose electrolytes. Electrolytes are essential minerals and are vital to many key functions in the body. They regulate nerve and muscle function, hydrate the body, balance blood acidity, balance blood pressure, and help rebuild damaged tissue. On any version, you require more electrolytes, and if you don't replenish them, you're likely gonna experience side effects. The main ones you need to focus on are sodium, that's the most important one, potassium, and magnesium. Now, of course, salting your food can help, and so can adding some salt to your water, but I also wanna recommend Sodi's Everyday Hydration Salts. 
These are a well-rounded electrolyte option that has been specifically formulated for low-carb diets. A lot of electrolyte supplements on the market have added sugar, sweeteners, and other fillers, which of course we want to be avoiding on low-carb diets. Meanwhile, Sodi has none of that, plus more of what you actually want, electrolytes. You can head to healthcoachkate.com forward slash Sodi to check them out and use code Kate15 at checkout to save 15% off your order. Honestly, if you're just getting started on a low carb diet and you're experiencing side effects, which are sometimes referred to as the keto flu, more often than not, this stems from an electrolyte imbalance. So supplementing them can help. Number four, lettuce wraps for tortillas. This one you've probably heard of before, but it's another really easy swap. Like rice, I think that tortillas and wraps are a bit of a filler food. They're essentially just a vessel to keep all of the ingredients together. So swapping them for a lettuce wrap instead is an easy way to make your meal more blood sugar friendly. Number three, zucchini for lasagna. I used to make zucchini lasagna all the time, and I actually forgot about it until I was making this video. So I might have to have it sometime this week. The key here is to make sure you dry out the zucchini before assembling, or else it might end up a bit soggy. But when prepared correctly, the consistency is very close to the original thing. Number two, cucumber slices for crackers. If you are a cheese lover, it might pain you to think of giving up the combination of cheese and crackers. But using cucumber slices instead can still provide you that crunch while keeping your blood sugar happy. And finally, number one is mashed cauliflower for mashed potatoes. Another super easy swap. All you have to do is boil the cauliflower for around 10 minutes and then blend it in a food processor. Add some butter, maybe some garlic, a splash of bone broth, salt and pepper, blend again, and you're good to go. And those are nine easy low carb swaps for better blood sugar balance. Let me know down below if you have any other low carb swaps that you include in your diet. And I also wanna hear from you, what changes to your blood sugar have you seen since adopting a low carb diet? Let me know down below. I love chatting with you guys there and hearing your experiences. And before you go, don't forget to check out Sodi because I'm telling you, if you are experiencing any of the symptoms of the keto flu, it's likely due to an electrolyte imbalance. So adding Sodi into your diet can help. If you did enjoy this video, you might also enjoy my video on three steps to get into ketosis fast. You can check it out here. If you wanna catch up on my most recent upload, you can find it here. And if you wanna check out my coaching programs, including my seven day insulin resistance masterclass and also my keto start program, you can check those out here. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.